MCB News, and I am at the New Filmmakers LA monthly screening right here on the red carpet, downtown LA at the AT&T Center. We are getting ready to see the producers, the directors, and the actors of all the films here to showcase their work, so don't miss it. I'm here with the writer and the director of In Lieu of Flowers. Did I get that right? Got it right. I got the title sure right did. so far. Very proud of you. Now, it's a love story, which we all love, but it's one of those in-between love stories. Is this more like a rebound situation? Would you call it that? Um, I, I, I think maybe you would call it a rebound situation. That might be a little... It's a pre-rebound. Sure. That, I think that that's okay. sort of the, the, the idea behind it. But it's a pretty serious... Both people have gone through a pretty serious loss. I this know. is a true heartbreak. True heartbreak on both okay. sides, yeah. What's your take on this love yeah, story? Yeah, um, well, my character um, has actually suffered a, a real loss. She's lost her husband a few years prior, and they meet at a, a grief... We're, you know, a support group, and um, we. I've always thought of it as like the relationship that sort of helps you get over the thing that was really hard. I mean, you need that transitional time to learn that you can love again, that, and maybe get in touch with who you are again, because you lose a part of yourself whether you've lost a relationship or a loved one. You're, you miss them. You miss who you were with them. So I'm here with yet another actor, of In Lieu of Flowers. Yes. So, what do you do exactly in the film besides act? Uh, oh, that's it, really. That's all I can do. I'm just like a monkey. I have that one talent. That's it. I just play pretend, and then I disappear. Um, I have a connection to the filmmaker and the producer because I spent time with them at a summer theater back in Massachusetts 12 years ago. And the writer-director, Bill, is an old friend of mine. And uh, I was so excited and honored that he asked me to be a part of it. Tell us about your role in the movie. Uh, I play one of the friends. I play... Um, Josh is uh, like Tweedledee and Tweedledum okay, with uh, Will Greenberg. And are you giving him good advice in the film? Bad We're advice? not even taking him seriously most of the time. We're kind of just like taking the piss out of him on a constant basis, which is good because he's going through a lot of sad things. I'm here with the director, the Geist. So your dog died yesterday, and then what? And then it got creepy, I guess. And then it what? And then it got creepy. Yeah, it it's creepy. Give us a little teaser. Tell me, tell me what I'm looking forward to. Come on. Give me uh, it's about, you want me to give you a synopsis? Yeah, I do. The dog died yesterday. Okay. Uh, I'm alone. I'm scared. I'm experiencing noises, all sorts of noises and occurrences. Uh, Are you on meds? I don't know. I guess. Not sure. Not sure. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of a mystery. But, um, yeah, it's, it's just an experience. It's an organic experience. I'm here with the director of the documentary A Life with Asperger's. A life with Asperger's. And she is the director of the film. Tell us more about it and how you, how you even thought of the idea. Um, the film um, chronicles a friend of mine. Um, I had known him for a number of years. Um, uh, he has Asperger's syndrome and um, I thought that it was a very topical subject. I am here with the jerk boyfriend. Yeah. I won't even say, I won't go up another level. Uh -oh. Adam from Breaking Character. Are, I mean, are you normally like the jerk guy, the jerk boyfriend, or are you the nice guy? I'm a nice guy. Really? I'm a nice guy. Yes, I'm a good actor, and that's why I was able to play this role. It's a real challenge to be. It was a challenge. So did you have to, like, go hang around with other jerks that you know? Yeah. And I went down to, like, some slums and just found some kids, like, skateboarding, where it said no skateboarding. Just, like, <laughs> asked them, how do you guys do this? How do you pull this off? You know? I'm here with the whole crew of record play. This is the director. Tell me more, how do sci-fi and love match? How do they go together? Uh, well, you can use sci-fi to tell any kind of anything. story you want. And you can make, any make up anything. Well, you can make any kind of statement about the world. So using sci-fi, you can bend reality to say whatever you want to say. Okay. So if you want to talk about um, eternal love and how it lasts through technology that we've created, and uh, ways of communication that we've also created, you can bend your story around that. So is it you two in love? Yes. In the story? Okay, mm -hmm. tell me about your, your love um, story. Well, a little bit. Give some teaser. No, it's a teaser. Like, I'm so in love that I'm willing to die for her. I'm so, she oh! can browse her. I see why. I mean, look at yeah. her. Look at her. <laughs> so what was the biggest part about preparing for this role for you? Uh, rehearsals, lots of them. He loves to rehearse. And I'm here with the dynamic duo of safety. Um, now, all I know is that 
has some awkward twists and turns and it's about a breakup. Tell me a little bit more. It's like about a really awkward one night stand. Ah, okay. And, uh, and did you prepare for this role, for the awkward one night stand? Um, yes, a lot. Very <laughs> thoroughly, thoroughly researched. A um, lot of reading. Uh -huh. Yeah, absolutely. It must have taken you years. Years and years, all my life. And I'm here with the director of Vanished. I don't know any about this, anything about this movie except for there's secrets, right? Secrets, right. In, deep, dark secrets involved. Tell me how you thought of the concept and tell me more about the story without well, giving away too much. Right. This, the problem is always I can't really tell you much about the story because it's a big you know, mis mystery and there's a twist to it, so I don't want to give it away. But I will say that it has a very strong female character in it. Okay. So and that was kind of like the starting point for me with the film and with the story, with the script. Tell me if I get it right. The fifth stage of labor, is that correct? And you are the director. Tell me more about it. It's the story of a single lesbian mom and her relationship with her only son, who's just about to go off to college. And I, apparently you sell weed, is that correct? Yes, I do. <laughs> is, there, is there any inspiration from the show Weeds? I, you, have, you have to see the film first. Okay. Um, I can't give anything away. Well, what did you do to prepare for the role? Was there any real-life tokens that you added to it? I sold weed. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. And you did... I wrote the song. You wrote the song. How does it go? Sing a little tune for us. Like a little boy's head upon my shoulder. Oh, I love it. You know? Nice. Now, um, what is the biggest challenge for you as far as the movie? Um, just allowing myself to go there. I'm, I'm about a year away from that, and I know what it's going to feel like. So okay. it's, there's that, it's um, a challenge, but also that's the fun part. Is actually, in real life, you have to fight it. That's a wrap for tonight. We had some exciting stuff happen tonight, and we saw Spencer Grammer, Kelsey Grammer's daughter, here tonight on the red carpet with us. Some exciting movies. Don't miss us next month on the red carpet, downtown LA at the AT&T Center. I'm Lily Zepeda with MCB News.